Hey guys, Patrizio here and today I will show you how I created this amazing photo. Guys, believe me, it's super hot right in here because I turned all the lights about on for like about two hours and it heated up the room so much, I'm dying. But yeah, let's just jump right into it and I will explain you how I get this shot. So step number one is get your composition right. So for this shot, I chose um, three bottles of beer um, from Giesinger and I put them on a glass plate. And I did not do this for reflection, what you usually do. I did it because I liked how the lightning on the bottom of the picture get this glow effect and it's just standing out for me. So I just put a glass plate on a black blanket on a table to get the black bottom, the glow effect from the glass and then of course the shot of the beer. So as my camera, I used the 1DX Mark II with the um, 100mm macro lens and I put the camera a bit down, so it's looking up to the product to get this kind of uh, hero shot feeling and I love the compression and the sharpness of, of the 100mm and it creates this epic look. Okay, then the next step is to get the lightning. Um, I will turn all the lights off and then we go step by step, one by one, um, through the lights I use and how I use them. And I will film everything with my camera I did the photo with, so you can see actually what's happening in the shot. So let's start first with the first light, and that's the background light. I, will, I start always with the background light. So because this beer has this beautiful green label, I wanted to create also a green background, just to get one seam, one color um, seam, and it just um, fits to the shot. So I turn all the lights now off and I will show you how, it, how the shot does look only with the background light on. All right, so I turned only on the background light. For that I used the um, Aperture Mini 20D and I put some gels in front of it. I didn't have had um, a green gel, so what I did, I actually used a yellow one and a blue one. and blue and yellow makes green, right? And so I produced this nice green background like you can see in the image. And I put the spreading on about 65 degree and full powered. So it's full, full powered turned on, on 65 degree spreading to create this nice background dot. And as you can see, it's um, get this nice moody green tone behind the product. Okay, let's move to the next light. I got an Aperture L ALMX and I put it a bit lower than the table and shot it a bit up, um, up to the product to get this glow effect. I call this light the glow light and what it does, it illuminates um, the, the drinking inside the bottle and here is it, how it looks in camera. This light is also running on full power to get as much glow as possible. So the next step is the rim light. As you can see um, in the picture, you get these nice lines on the side. So for this shot, I used two lights. It's one time the 303 Mark II from Aperture with the Godox and the, the square form. Um, because it's really a long light and then you get this nice line. But I only have one, had one of these light domes, so I was experimenting a bit. And I, what I did is I got this really nice big um, diffuser and I put another Mini 20D on the right side and I shaped with the plates in front of it also a square form. So you get also these nice line reflections on the bottle, as you can see here. Let me zoom a little bit in. Exactly. Here, here you can see it. And um, that there's also this line. If I would open the plates, you can see that the light is spreading too much and it's not anymore a nice thin um, line. It's more like a bubble on top. 
and not these nice stripes you want to create as a rim light. So I close again the, the plates. All right, and then you get again these nice stripe forms here. For the next light, I used an Aperture 120D Mark II. And as a top light was the Magic Lantern from Aperture. And this is running on 56%. And this gives this nice um, top light. So what this light does is, and you can see it in the shot, it gives this nice um, top light and this nice top rim light. And also it labels really nice the labels on the top side. So the last light is the label light. I turn it on for you. You can see it, how it does look. It's just shining on the main label and represents um, the brand of the product. And yeah, how I did it. So I put exactly on top of the camera our, another, it's not, it's not the same like the 100D Mark II, but it's really close from the, from the strengths. And I put some alufolie in front of it and uh, I will put a description what it is in English because I don't know the word right now. And then I put a hole in, in the middle in front of it. So I just get this spotlight, this only, which is only shining on the label of the product. So all right, now we got the lightning right, the composition is right, and to spice up the game a little bit, I like to um, use one of these. Um, this is now just a spray bottle with water. It would be better if you had some glycerine with water because the drops would maintain on, and, and stay on the bottle and yeah, just uh, hold longer, but I don't have no glycerine, so normal water should do it also. And yeah, then I will just spray on the bottle with some water to get this fresh look effect and then you can snap the photo and then it should look something like that. So yeah, I hope you liked this video, you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions about how I get the shot and if you didn't understand one step, just leave it in the comments. I will try to answer all of them. And if you liked the video, just give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. So I'm already working also on my next YouTube video. So just subscribe my channel if you're interested to see it and then we'll see us in the next one. Bye.